Okay, this week on Forthright, I have to make a, a little bit of a confession. I didn't prepare anything. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let the Lord, you know, inspire me. And we'll just see what happens. God's more powerful than my lack of preparation. Right? So, uh, here we go. Uh, um, how, how might... How might you respond in a, a tickle fight? Giant pelican feet. Uh, I, um, <laughs> you know, I, well, if, if jelly beans were currency, how wealthy would you be? How, um, uh, red rubber bands bouncing on babies' bellies. Uh, um, uh, um, uh, you know, I, me, well, okay, may, maybe, wow, that, uh, that was inspiring, wasn't it? That was, that was incredible. <laughs> that failed. This is Luke chapter 4, verses 9 to 12. And he took him to Jerusalem and set him on the pinnacle of the temple and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here. For it is written, He will command his angels concerning you to guard you, and on their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. And Jesus answered him, It is said, you shall not put the Lord your God to the test. It seems pretty straightforward, doesn't it? Don't put the Lord to the test. Don't throw yourself off of a temple and just expect the Father to rescue you. That's like don't aggressively run at a pride of lions and just expect the Lord to spare you. I mean, come on. No one would be that foolish, would they? Unfortunately, yes, someone would. Alec Ndwane, a prophet of a charismatic Christian community in Africa, apparently needs to read more of The Temptation of Jesus, because I don't think he has. Why do I say this? Because it was reported earlier this week that Mr. Ndwane, as well as members of his congregation, were driving around an African national park. As they were driving, they spotted a pride of lions feeding on an impala. He said that he felt overcome by the Spirit of the Lord, began speaking in tongues, and then was compelled to charge the pride of lions to show the protection of the Lord. The Impala is a deer-like animal, not the car. That would be weird. Because a grown man charging a pride of lions isn't. The lions, on the basis of basic human logic that human people use, obviously charged back. And with a claw, one of them took a chunk right out of his butt. <laughs> That's real. Seriously, that may be the funniest part of the story. Now, in all seriousness, we, we pray for a speedy recovery for Mr. Indiwane. But, seriously, I could go all day with that joke. But, what in the world, in all honesty, made him think that was a good idea? Is the Lord provident? That is, does he take care of us? Of course he does, but he also gave us a brain so that we could use it. See, I believe Mr. Ndwane was trying to make a point about God, and he did. And the point? Use your head, man. See, this is the stuff that makes Christianity look like a bunch of uneducated fools. If you ever feel the impulse to run straight toward a pride of lions, don't. Just don't. See, there is a Big difference between trusting in the Lord in times of trial and creating times of trial to test the reliability of the Lord. Our God is very faithful, but he doesn't want that faithfulness to be tested. Otherwise, you might end up as an example, and likely not the way you intended. So what are the more common ways that we tend to put the Lord to the test? Where have you seen God's faithfulness in times of real trial? Let us know in the comments down below or on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram using the hashtag ForthrightTV. I'm Anthony Creedon, and I'm just trying to be forthright. 
and smart enough to never run at lines. Is that not the craziest thing you've ever heard of? That's bizarre. Like what in the world would possess someone to think that was a good idea, right? Like, can you imagine what's going through the head of his congregation members as he's charging this pride of lions? Right? Who, would, who there was like, yeah, that's, that's a great idea, right? And, and if they were, right, how, what does that look like? Like, yes, go, show the faithfulness of the Lord. No, no, no. Oh, that's gross, right? He's like trying to run back with half his butt hanging off, right? And how's the conversation afterward go? Do you think he'd mind if I ask? to him about it, right? I would, but I'll be kind and turn the other cheek, right? <laughs> that never gets old.